Because he promised to never leave me, to never leave me alone. Is that anybody shouting here? Yeah, you heard the, the, the thunder roaring and the lightning flashing, but you know you got a locomotive helper. That's always there, yet in your time of need. I'm over, I'm over time. It's God is a very present help in the time of trouble. God is our refuge. Third, and I gotta go. God, here's a shout, is the reason, verse number two and three, God's the reason yes. that we don't fear. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not because we're so bad. Right. But when you get the right version of the Bible, after yeah. it talks about God is our refuge and our strength, the very present help in the time of trouble, then what it says is, therefore. therefore. Okay. I thought y'all would maybe being the only pastor did was good in English. Therefore means you gotta go back to the previous verse. To understand what he's really saying. He said, because God is your refuge, because God is your strength, because God is a very present help at the time of trouble, therefore, because of that, I ain't gonna fear nobody. I wish I had some confidence in here. They say, I ain't gonna fear, I ain't worried about it, it don't really matter because I got a refuge that's on my side. And sometimes when you gotta tell them what you're dealing with, that's why you tell about your God first. Because then you can say, therefore, Doctor, I hear you, but healing is on the way. Therefore, I hear you, baby, but God is going to provide a way out of no way. Therefore, I hear you on your job, but God is going to open some doors. Anybody in here shouting off of the therefore that God is able to do what you need to do. Uh, it's so deep, deep is because he says, the earth be removed. And the mountains carried away. Yes, the waters roar and the mountains shake. But the psalmist says, still God still. is bigger than that. Yeah. Yeah. He, he gives calamity and chaos. Yeah. But he still says, God is bigger than that. Yeah. And I wonder, is there anybody here tonight that says, yeah, I'm dealing with some stuff. Yeah. But my God yeah. is bigger than that. Yeah. It's been hard lately, but my God is bigger than that. I got trouble, but my God is bigger than that. I don't know who's going to be in D.C. in November, but my God is bigger than that. I don't know what the economy is going to be, but my God is bigger than that. I don't know what the poor one going to look like, but my God is bigger than that. I don't know the price of eggs next year, but my God. It's bigger than that. How do you know? Because my God is a provider. Somebody ought to be able to tell somebody, I serve Jehovah God. I serve the great provider. I serve the one that can make nothing out of something. I serve the one that can make something out of nothing. I serve the one that stepped out on nothing and created everything. I stepped out, I'm talking about the one that laid man down and created woman. I serve the one that put stars in the sky and the Anybody say, I serve God and God is. Right. I gotta go, Pastor. I'm, I'm somewhere near the runway. I gotta go. God is the reason we do not fear. God is a very present help. God is our God is. and our strength. But then God is. The one who provides peaceful provision. Yeah. It's right there. It talks about this river yeah. that flows and makes the city of God happy. Yeah. It's that river that when you look at that time, uh, I provide physical sustenance. Yeah. It provides spiritual sustenance. It was a symbol of peace. Yeah. In other words, it symbolized the presence of God and the provision of God. So as I cut across the field, simply all I'm telling you tonight that in the midst of chaos and trouble, you can still have peace because you serve a provider. That ought to be somebody shot tonight that in the midst of all that you got going on, that everybody don't know about, you still serve a provider. And I wish I had a witness tonight that can testify he keeps on providing for me. Over and over again. The other old church would put it like this every time I turn around. He keeps on blessing me. I gotta leave you tonight, but I'm so glad that he's still in the providing business. 
And as a lead in number one, number five, God is victorious yeah. among us. And the Bible says, we be still and know that I am God. And I gotta leave you here, brother Bill, but I came to tell you the Lord still is God. And he's God all by himself. And there ought to be a witness tonight that said, I tried him for myself. And he is alright. I called on him for myself. And he showed up on time. Is there a witness in the house tonight that said, I know what the Lord can do. And tell somebody what he did for me. He can do the same thing for me. He sees
Holy Spirit, roll up your sleeves and go to work for it. Go places you cannot go. Touch all you cannot touch. All right. We will play your glory in the good of your church. In the name of the risen Savior. If you need to be saved, this is your time. You can come from wherever you are. If you need a church home, you can come from wherever you are. We are ready to receive you into the family of God. If you're in the virtual space, there's a phone number on the screen. You can text that number. It will help you find your way into the family of God. Help you find your way into the body of Christ. This is your time from wherever you are. This is your time. Thank you. 